Hi, I'm John McNee, editor of Forestry Journal. I'm at Elmio Wood talking to Dennis from Kronos. Uh, Dennis, uh, you're demonstrating here today. Uh, what's, what's happening behind me? Well, we can see a crane moving, but what, what's a bit different with this crane uh, uh, compared to other cranes is that we have something we call smart boom control on this crane, and that means tip control. Uh, we have been working on, on this project with tip control for five years, and uh, three years ago, we, or actually four years ago, we launched this uh, tip control system called smart boom control. So it means practically that you are controlling the tip of the crane instead of uh, individual cylinders. Uh, the particular uh, crane and trailer combination behind us, what is that? So uh, this is uh, the smallest crane in our crypto series and for us crypto means crane with fast movement, uh, reduced uh, energy losses uh, and it means that we have also a very uh, uh, precise crane to work with. Mm -hmm. good, you get a good feeling when you operate this crane. Yeah. And the trailer underneath the crane is uh, quite new. We launched this trailer one year ago. It's called Cargo 121. And uh, it's a completely new design. We have some new solutions on this trailer. Uh, it makes the trailer very flexible. So it's easy to bolt on options to the trailer. And we try to have standardized concepts of the same base machine can be used for all customers. Uh, and the design of the frame is also made so that uh, there are no weakening points on the frame from the front of the trailer where we have all the forces coming until the boogie. Mm -hmm. So all these uh, hydraulics and, and electronics are put uh, in the frame behind the boogie. Mm. Yeah, we have something really unique also on on, uh, on the support legs on this trailer. All right. We have something called SSC, Smart Stabilizer Control, and it's a semi-automatic uh, uh, stabilizer control system. So you just activate the function, and the electronics takes care of lowering the legs. If there's a stump or a stone in front of the leg, that leg will stop and the second leg will continue to go further down to the ground. And then when both legs are, uh, have touched the ground, then the trailer will sta be stabilized and you can start to operate the crane. And this you can do while you turn the seat also, so it saves time. And of course, so this is quite an annoying procedure to do perhaps 100 times per day. Yeah. So you can activate this function while at the same time you are turning the seat. Um, and again, when you are finished and you want to raise the legs, again you activate the function and the legs go smoothly up, much more smoothly than you are able to operate yourself manually. Uh, they go to the upper position and then uh, shut down the uh, hydraulics so uh, there's no pressure on the pump needed anymore. You don't have to deactivate or something. It's, and this again, you can do at the same time you're turning the seat to the front and start to go for the next pile of blocks. So this is something unique. We are the only one who has this, have this system. Um, it was launched yeah, a year ago. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Dennis, for explaining all of that to us. You're very welcome.